on YouTube. Um, I'm Mara, and um, yeah, hi. Um, I mean, this is, I'm, I'm new at this. I'm not good at making videos. I always try to make videos, and it doesn't work so well. Um, but I just like always sit down and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna talk, and um, tend to talk for a very long time and ramble and not really know what I'm saying and then I'll rehearse it and I'll go over it 50 million times. Excuse me, chair, sorry. And um, then eventually I'm like, oh, I'm gonna make air in here. Why should I bother? But I think I'm done with that now, you know. Um, let me I'm a really squeaky chair. I'm making this video tonight um, for a couple of reasons. Um, I have a, um, a page on Facebook, it's called Anti Anna. And I started that as with a goal in mind to um, stop or, you know, slow down or bring awareness to the promotion of eating disorders, the pro Anna movement. That's the anti Anna thing. I started that page because I am a recovering anorexia binge drink. Um, my eating disorder started when I was 13 years old, and um, recovery for me happened last October, October 31st, 2001. Yes, I. That's, that's the day that anyone asks, that's the day I would be born. It's the day that I started living my life. I, um, it makes me sick to think about, um, how people promote the eating disorder as a lifestyle. And, um, vulnerable young boys and girls find this information and think, oh, it'll be fine, it'll be easy. And, uh, it's something that I can just pick up, something I can do. So I look good for Paul, for dance, for Blaine. I mean, my math class will like me. You know, it's easier than eating healthy and faster and all of that nonsense. <sighs> it's not, um, first and foremost, it's not. Um, Michael, um, with what's the chair so squeaky? My goal with creating my anti Anna pro recovery page is like I said, to stop the promotion of eating disorders, to help people with eating disorders cope. Because I know from personal experience that an eating disorder isn't a lifestyle. It's not something that you can pick up and put down. It's it's a struggle. Um, I'm making this video tonight because I, um, I went shopping today, went to Kohl's, because I needed to buy some more work clothes, I needed to buy some khaki pants, and, um, some polo shirts, and, um, you know, I started crying in the dressing room, because, As far as I'm concerned, I'm still feeling very fat. Um, like I said, I I feel like I've been reborn, but I still struggle. It's, it's very hard. Um, I'm making this video because I want to show the reality of the eating disorder. The reality that it's not something that you can control. It's not about being in control. You're you think that you're in control and you think that all these things like the scale uh, as the number on the scale goes down your clothes get, get bigger and baggier on you all that you are in control I'm gonna lose five more pounds and it's not you're no longer in control anymore your eating disorder controls you so Um, I'm making this to prove a point. I'm 
my eating disorder started when I was 13 years old. It's kind of a crazy crash diet. I lost 10 pounds in one week. And then I got scared. I started binge eating. Binge and binge and binge and I gained 20 pounds. Well, I was healthy for a while. I was fine and then I started binging again. And then I discovered that after a binge, you can take laxatives and start taking laxatives. After I binge, I binge to me is considered 1200 calories. That's the minimum number of calories that women are supposed to have a week. I don't know what the minimum is for men, but you know, anyway, I was very afraid of food. I was afraid of gaining weight, but I would still eat and eat and eat. And then I would take laxatives and then I would exercise for hours and hours. And I would nitpick here and there. Oh my god, I'm so fat. I could feel it. And it started affecting me. I couldn't go out with friends. My boyfriend was fine. I couldn't let him. He couldn't touch me. I was scared to let him even hug me. Because I was too fat. That was a Friday night. It was early in the day. And, um, I'm not being here with my friends now. My boyfriend is in my room. Um, crying and thinking about how fat I am and how I can lose weight. And how much weight I, sh weight I should lose and if we're gonna and if it's gonna last, if I'm gonna relapse. I'm scared of relapsing because the relapse is how eating disorder is how good. But so so are these moments of inner turmoil and struggling and not knowing whether or not I wanna continue fighting. This, this demon that tells me that I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to look like this, I have to look like that. It's hell not knowing whether I'm supposed to listen to all of these negative thoughts creeping in my head or hope and pray that there's more. That's where faith comes in, I think. You know? listening to something that you're not completely sure on. And I'm not completely sure on anything right now. This turned into another ramble video. But I don't really care. I think that this needs to be posted in the world because I want to show that it's not all fun and glamorous and the bones and collarbones and fitting into a small size of store. Eating disorder is hell. I hope that many people see this and they decide that they don't they don't want to go and you know Forums on the internet that curl over nonsense. <laughs> I hope that the people will see this and they'll have some you know, they'll have better judgment than me. <sighs> I hope people will see this and see the reality of what eating disorder is and the reality of what it isn't. And despite my struggling right now, I'm still completely, totally against my eating disorder, anti Anna. I, I never want to be pro anorexia, pro bulimia, and pro recovery and pro health and pro healing. I hope that you are too. I don't really know what else to say now, but um, more videos usually when I'm not so in a fit. <laughs>